good day everybody today is world photography day i'm here in the studio printing some prints i've got to do some big prints join me as we celebrate world photography day and it is so much more than camera specs as we know just plugging the mic in let's get to it so we're trying out a new we're trying out a new canvas i'm just getting mic'd up got to get a lot done today World Photography Day. I hope you are super well. Today, I don't want to talk about specs. Today, I'm going to talk about photography and one exciting aspect of it on top of just celebrating World Photography Day, and that is printing. Now, I've just printed out this guy here. This is a, indeed, it is World Photography Day, and this goes back almost 200 years. We're going to be celebrating that next decade. Almost 200 years ago, two gentlemen created what we know, I suppose, as the chemical photographic process. The first gentleman was Louis Daguerre, and Joseph Nice for Neeps was the other gentleman who helped create the chemical photographic process. Now, on August 19th in 1839, the French government bought their patent and thus gave it to the world. And this is why it is celebrated. 20 by 32 inch canvas or a 60 by 90 centimeter, roughly. We're gonna to go to 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters. I've got an even bigger one. Not sure we're gonna get that one out today, but very pumped to do printing, to be celebrating the printed image. Ultimately, this is what photography was all about, capturing moments that millions of people could see. And up until recently, up until the digital age, which Really, the internet, not long before that, let's call it the early 90s, the only way you could see a photograph was printed, either on a piece of paper or in a magazine or a newspaper. So let's celebrate all of that and more. Happy Photography Day. Now, the Daguerre type image photograph was released originally by those two gentlemen in 1837, but it took another two years for them to sell their patent to the French government. But why is it important? Well, it's not important for these reasons over here. We've got three different brands of camera there, Fuji, Sony, Nikon, and I'd have my Hasselblad up there as well, except it's so big and heavy, it wouldn't fit in the frame. Now, the process of exposing a negative or back in those days, metal plates and glass plates as we got a little bit further on, and then film as we've known it in the more modern era, this led to the moving picture as well. So we've got a lot to thank these gentlemen for kicking off this art form that so many of us love. And actually some of us like me, I've relied on my entire life for my career. So photography is important and amazing and it has been part of capturing so many pivotal moments in human history. And of course, if we do believe that the invention of the moving picture came from and or was inspired by the still image, then these gentlemen and their invention has given us so much, everything from television to film to photography and so much more. There's so many iterations and versions in between that. And this is such a critical part of the human experience. And why is it so critical? Because we are recording important moments, we're sharing important stories, and we're creating amazing documentaries like Rocky and Rambo. I'm just joking, it's just a joke. Thus, photography in both the still and moving image has had such a profound effect on humanity, and it has been so important to capture what has gone on in the last almost 200 years and now we have these epic records of so many different things. And now we're turning the latest versions of this technology, digital technology, to exploring the universe and other planets. We've got these robots on Mars rolling around with their own digital cameras and they're able to take shots and samples. And we have this deep understanding of what another planet looks like, let alone our ability to turn telescopes to the edge of the universe and look back in time to see well, we keep seeing further and further back and who knows how far that may go. So there are so many technologies, there's so much wonder that has come from this one invention that has inspired, let's call it image capturing. This has been done through cave paintings, 
as well as through fine art paintings for hundreds of years. It's true, but it's a different process. It's much quicker, it wasn't so fast almost 200 years ago, but today of course we know we can capture the world in an instant. But it's not about the technology, it's about the impact that this technology has had. Now, a lot of this is for the better of humanity. Some of it is not always for the better. We've seen some also fairly horrifying things over the years as we've seen wars unfold and tragedy happening live on our screens. But I think we would all say a world without the still or moving image is a world that perhaps none of us would want to be in. Bringing it more down to a human and personal level, what I love about photography is the fact that wherever I go, it doesn't matter where I go, anywhere in the world, I have always found beauty. Whether it's a small little moment on the side of a wall or whether it's a massive Swiss vista. By the way, I haven't been to Switzerland. If anybody wants me to come, let me know. We'll go have an adventure. European vista. Photography allows us to capture it all. And I love seeing these little vignettes, these little moments, and then I love the challenge of trying to capture it as it was, as that emotion felt, and then, and then being able to share it. That to me is absolute gold. That runs a tingle down my spine. And it's part of what keeps me going with photography. It really is. I love the moment. And that moment is derived of light. I mean, we can't do all of this without light. And then, of course, whatever is unfolding before us. And I've been from oil rigs to photographing symphony orchestras, royalties, prime ministers and premiers, actors, rock stars. I've photographed it all. And what's in common with all of these moments is the light and the fact that we're getting out into the world and we're interacting with the world, whether it's people or places, events. Right now, I think we live in a time which is perhaps the most confused from my perspective. I've been here a little while now, and it's been a reasonably straight line from the 70s through till now. But I feel like the world is groaning, it's stretching, it's wheezing a little bit. And more than ever, the ability to put a camera in my hand and head on out and basically have what I call, it's, it's sort of like a meditation for me. It's like, I'm just going to head out. I'm going to be very singular. I'm going to be very at one with myself and at peace. And then I love the world unfolding in front of me and it shares with me its beauty. And then it's up to me to capture it. And of course, I made a video right back at the start of my channel. I want to update it because, you know, it's a bit hokey, but it was about the permutations. The fact that you can stand in kind of one spot, might be a few square meters or a few square feet, and the permutations of light and lenses and shutter speeds and apertures, all the different ways that you can take one scene. That is such an exciting challenge of photography and filmmaking. So there's so much goodness. It gets us out to the world. It gets our brains thinking, which is why I'd love you to get off manual. And it allows us to capture moments which might inform, educate, inspire, create a smile. It doesn't really matter what it does in the end, just as long as we continue to share, communicate and live. So World Photography Day for me is about all those things. It's about humanity's ability to share. It's about humanity's ability to create the build world, to nurture the natural world. We can capture all of that. It's about sharing stories. Some are happy, some are dramatic, some are sad, some are celebratory. And it's about our personal journey, getting us up off the couch, out of our houses, where we either do portraiture and we interact with others, or we interact with the world around us, our environment and we learn to respect it and understand it more because we spend more time with it. This is World Photography Day to me. It inspires me to keep doing what I love. And it kind of doesn't really feel like it, but that is 60 inches from here to 
here. It just shows the power of these printers today because that's a huge amount of ink going down in just something like five, five, six, seven minutes. I'm, I haven't kept track, but it's very quick. There it is, there is the first canvas on the new canvas. And as you can see how big it is. It's almost as big as me. Number one. Four hours later, and as you can see, the printer's off. I don't have the microphone on anymore. I was just about to go home because it's been, to cut a long story short, I was recommended a new canvas by my canvas supplier and profiling new substrates for machines is usually reasonably straightforward. For some reason, we cannot get this canvas to work properly right now. And whilst I was going to be printing, I was going to be talking about cool stuff. I've basically spent the whole time on the phone and we don't know what's going on. Uh, I've got a client order that's pending, now running behind. It hasn't been a good day, but still it is happy photo world, world photo day. And I'm going to go back to the studio to finish this because it's so late and my wife's going out. Got to look after the kids. Let's finish the rest of this video there. Sometimes things don't go to plan, do they? No, they don't. Thank you so much for being here today, everybody. I would love to know in the comments below, what does World Photography Day mean to you? And how has photography impacted you when you maybe need a little shift in gear? Has it ever helped you get out of a funk? Have you ever captured that profound moment, that moment that has meant a lot to so many people? There's something really exciting and worth being super proud about when you capture something that appeals to a lot of people. And I don't mean from a financial perspective, I just mean it's unlocking something in all of us. Ultimately, that is about our shared humanity. And hey, isn't that something that we're all looking for? To connect. Part of why I'm here. Hi, how are you doing today on World Photography Day? And sorry, this is running a little bit late. This was supposed to come out yesterday, but I just didn't have the stamina after the stuff that you saw go wrong in the studio to get this done. So this is coming out late Photography Day in some parts of the world and in other parts of the world, well, World Photography Day is already over, but that's okay. The thoughts are exactly the same and World Photography Day will come again soon enough. Please let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. I do look forward to seeing you very soon and I can't wait to interact with as many of you as possible in the comments below. All right, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. I'll see you soon.